bitch, I don't make no mistakes. Your mistake was knowing my name. Um, this bitch wanna be on her phone. Girl, why you don't want them people to eat? Why are you so miserable? So I, I, when I'm done, I'll leave, but I'm feeding the homeless. And when I'm done, but uh, that's her whole problem. Yeah, she no, wants to control the narrative. I'm not here to anything else. No, I understand. Like I said, we got a call. No, I haven't talked to her yet. So. You can talk to her. You can say whatever you want to her. All right. But no, I, I just wanted to understand the context of what was going on. That's fine. And when I'm done, I, I'll be gone. But she just so got to chill. As far as I'm concerned, you have just as much right as anyone else to be here. Thank you so very much. I wish she would just understand just it. Just pull up and she want to control the narrative. We could have had a conversation had you stepped to the side and waited a moment like I asked you to so I can get my group together. Then we can converse about whatever you want to converse about. But now there's no conversation to be had. She's disrespectful. Did she I want to claim a soul because I'm like, get out the way, get out the way. She up in my face. I'm walking that way. If you over there, bitch, I'm walking. I'm walking. If you there, bitch, I'm a big bitch. I'm 5'11". You can see that, officer. If you don't move out the way, it's like a bull. Bull in a chocolate shop. You got to go. I got people to tend to and work to do. You want some ice cream? I made it. It's homemade, for real. Okay, I'm going to go talk to her first. Go talk to her. Tell her to chill out. Like I said, you seem to have a very professional I do. operation. I do. So I'm not going to tell you something based on a situation that I wasn't a part of. I appreciate that. Okay. Um, I mean, I think it's great that you guys are out here. I appreciate you. Helping the less fortunate. We try. So we're going to leave. I appreciate that. There's I know nothing, you. you know what I mean? There's nothing for us to do here. I know. You guys keep doing whatever you're doing. I appreciate that. And then that. if there are further issues, you can always call us back. I appreciate that. Now, before you go, you shouldn't want an ice cream because I made a homemade. This ain't even bribe. <laughs> Can I have like a, just a scoop? Yeah, can, can you give him like a spoon full of ice cream? Just give him one, two. Hold on. I appreciate you. Why? Because you work out in the gym? Because <laughs> <laughs> it's not your cheat day or something? She got it's me. Good. Yeah, what is that? It's uh, coconut. Damn. I made a coconut and a homemade vanilla ice cream. Okay, I'll try one. Please, thank you. <laughs> try it. You're very welcome. Mm -hmm. Get it. Get it. Wow. That looks really good. <laughs> it was worth it, huh? That is really good. With millions watching and many people benefiting from this program called Indisputable, we just need 1% of the viewers to become a paid member so we can continue to bring this content to you. Now back to the show. Hi, hi, Karen. The cop ate ice cream. He's about to have some coconut cake as well. You see that? You did ugly. Cop said, there's your headline. Let's start with the good news. Keep doing what you're doing. This is wonderful. They formed a relationship here. I'm going to get to the details behind this one. I do want to ask our crack production staff, the showrunners here at the Powerful Indisputable to check on the trademark because I do need to put a sign up outside my house. And it needs to say, I wish a Karen would. And if I have some kind of caricature, a cartoon maybe face of me, I want it on the sign. And I will, in fact, I wish you would sell that merch if you're not already. Can the team let me know? I want to sign because I need to either that or as you and I discussed privately, Woes, I may have to start wearing garlic, fresh garlic cloves yeah. around my neck because they just won't stay back without a restraining order. And even then they violate it. Let's tell you what really went down here, the details behind it in San Diego. Shirley Rains doing the work of the people. But she had the police called on her by a Karen at an event to feed the homeless that took place in front of the Karen's house. Remember Karen's own public sidewalk in the air in their orbit. So they felt that this was gonna be a course of action. Reigns has served thousands in Los Angeles, Sacramento, San Diego, Las Vegas, since starting her nonprofit in 2017. When you're that busy, you're too busy to hate, you see. She said her mission derived from her past experience of being unhoused and the death of her two-year-old son. This is a woman that's going to keep going. Heartbreak, desperation, and now let me help other people. This is who you called the police on, Karen? Why, yes. This isn't the first time Reigns has encountered privileged behavior while conducting her work for the community. Last June, a homeless white man threatened to call the police after he noticed he was the only white person at one of Reigns' food pantry events. As the man walked away from the event, Call the cops. Rain scolded him. Man, a black star with details. You are responsible for you. 
You being the only white person in that line, we have lived that plight all our life, being the only black person in the space, not feeling protected and safe, Reigns told the man. Do not come up here bullying us. And the fact that you would pick up that phone and call the police because you think you're not being served properly and F it up for the rest of the people in the heat. I find it quite frankly selfish and rude, she added. She read him, didn't she? Wonder if he learned anything. And I wonder if the cops that time showed up and had ice cream and coconut cake. My mother made a delicious homemade coconut cake. Just telling you, okay? You you get them with some coconut cake, that's good. And you won the day. Maybe we should all carry coconut cake in our vehicles and everything, just in case it's traffic stop. Disarm them with that cake. That's what she did. Brains leads a nonprofit called Beauty to the Street, which provides essential services to underserved communities on the West Coast. Her organization regularly hosts events to feed unsheltered individuals in San Diego and offers hair, beauty, hygiene services to people in need. Several videos she's posted of her services have gone viral and drawn the attention and praise of many people online. She's amassed 5.5 million followers on TikTok who follow her grassroots work. Probably people who just want to smile and be happy. She launched a GoFundMe to raise $150,000 to expand her mobile food and beauty services. What was I call on everyone right now? Send her what she's asking for. Okay, we have the opportunity to do the same, however you see fit. And I hope that she returns to that location where the Karen is. What do you make of the relationship that quickly developed between Ms. Reigns and that officer? And the nasty, nasty, mean, mean, vile Karen in this case. Uh, I kind of wish we could bottle the energy and the spirit of that situation up and sell it in stores. Uh, Because that's just a wonderful example of how a community um, and, you know, capital C community is supposed to function. Uh, The police, obviously, it's their job to keep the peace. Um, There's a disturbance happening amongst citizens and they come through and they do exactly that. There's no hostility. They're trying to get to the bottom of the truth. Um, And they did just that. Like oftentimes up here, you know, we highlight some of the terrible things that police end up doing out there when they're not treating their interactions with the citizens as if, you know, this is one community, um, instead treating them as adversaries. I think these cops should be commended for the way that they attack the situation. Um, I think that was dope. And, you know, as far as what this woman is trying to do, um, I, I just wish that, you know, we were in a space as a country all over the place where if you see somebody setting up shop to do some level of service, your reaction shouldn't be, how do I screw this up and call the cops? It's like, hey, what can I do to help? You know, you hear your buddies having a toy drive of some sort. Oh, hey, man, I, here's some here's a gift certificate for, you know, uh, Target or something or a clothing drive. Oh, here's some stuff from my closet. Here's some stuff I never wore. That, that should be the response whenever we see people in the community trying to do things. It shouldn't be a hostility towards it. So for, for this Karen, man, like you ought to be ashamed of yourself, <laughs> you know, instead mm-hmm. of trying to get involved and trying to lift this thing up that is so obvious. Obviously positive, you try to tear it down. It, it doesn't get much worse than that. And I think these Karens are violent. You called the police. It, it, we documented that it could have gone a different way had a fine, honorable officer not shown up on the other side of that call. So you're just nasty. Sometimes I find myself, and it's the journalism in me. I study people. I like people. I want to understand the human condition, and I want to understand. Does she need a hug or an ass whooping? What's wrong with you? Rhetorical.